Hi, I'm Varun from Amber Missions, and in this video, I want to talk to you about all the different types of drone services and applications that have come to the market over the last five years. Drones are now being used for so many different things that it pays to understand where you can create value for your client, or if you're an in-house drone team, understand how you can leverage this technology to benefit other stakeholders in your company. So let's have a look. Hey everyone. Right, so as I mentioned before, in this video, I'm gonna go through all the different types of drone services and applications that have come to the market and try to break down exactly what it is that drones are adding value to these days. Right, let's start with the industry construction and mining. So construction and mining is an industry where drones are extremely helpful tools to understand what's going on on the site. I think if I have to list three main applications, I will go for something like stockpile measurements, facade inspections, and site progress tracking. So let's have a look at them one by one. Stockpile measurements is an application where you fly your drone on the site in a structured manner, collect all the drone images with overlaps between them, and you're able to create a 3D model of the site. Once you have that 3D model, you can actually use it to create all sorts of measurements, but most importantly, stockpile measurements. Now, what exactly are stockpile measurements? Well, it'd be, as it turns out, when you're on a construction site or a mining site, you have lots of different aggregates or lots of different materials that are being piled on together in a stockpile. And you need to be able to understand what quantities, what level of materials do you have on the site. Why is this important? Well, I made a whole video on stockpile measurements and why they're important. So if you want to dig deeper into this application, please feel free to go check out that video. But essentially, the idea is that you have these stockpiles, a 3D model allows you to essentially measure that stockpile in the digital model, and that's really useful for site managers, the project teams, and the design teams. So it's really, really interesting application for drones that has come to the market and definitely worth exploring and is useful for both construction and mining. The second application that I've just talked about is facade inspections. Now, facade inspections is really helpful when you've got a built structure in place on your construction site. And what you want to do is you want to fly your drone and you want to look for structural issues. Once again, doing this traditionally was really hard because you had to actually get a cherry picker out or you had to get scaffolding out. And so if you're providing services in the drone industry, you can actually help contractors, architects, engineers save a lot of money by flying drones and capturing this data for them. The third application I want to talk about is progress tracking. So site progress tracking is really important because a lot of the times you have Lots of things going on in these construction sites and mining sites. And they want to understand, is the schedule going to plan? Has everything been done as according to plan? And have they paid the suppliers yet? So all of these questions can be really easily answered using drone data. If they were able to create a map or a model of their site every week, and they're able to track how are things changing. They're not even just tracking things. They're actually able to plan better because they have a digital model of the site in their computer that you provided them. And basically, they're able to do better work with respect to the planning and tracking of things. So that was construction and mining. And there are lots of different applications that are popping up every day when it comes to construction and mining. But there are other industries as well. So the second industry we're going to look at is the renewable energy industry or the asset inspection space. So the two main things that are now becoming increasingly important in the renewable energy space is solar inspections and wind turbine inspections. And that's for obvious reasons. Energy independence has become important for many countries. And solar and wind are two areas that there is heavy investments in. So if you're looking to provide services with respect to inspections, focusing on solar for thermal inspections and for wind turbine inspections is actually a great idea. So what is involved in these inspections? So in these inspections, unlike the construction and mining scenario, you may or may not be creating a 3D model. So the 3D model is not the most important thing. The most important thing in these particular applications is to be able to understand what is the condition of the solar site or what is the condition of the wind turbines and how can it be improved. So in these particular applications, what's really important for you is your drone can fly along the rows of the solar park or along the wind turbine blades and it can take images in the right places so that when that data is analyzed, you're able to pick out where the defects are, how big are the defects, What's the severity of those defects? 
And what do the people on site need to do about that? So these are some of the applications that you can look at when you're looking at the renewable energy industry. And something that is closely associated to the energy industry uh, is actually some of the utility inspections. So things like grid inspections or things like pylon inspections are also applications that are becoming increasingly popular with drones. And the workflow is very similar where you've got to fly a drone in the best manner possible to capture the entire asset. And then you want to analyze those images so that you can pick out the defects and issues. Right, let's have a look at another industry, the real estate and infrastructure industry. So what does this industry actually involve? Well, if you look at all of the built world around us, everything from roofs to facades to railways to cell towers, a lot of this infrastructure requires maintenance, requires inspections. So if you're a drone service provider and you're looking to provide services in an easier to access market, then roof inspections, facade inspections can be a good place to start because you can approach people, whether it's commercial roofs or if it's residential roofs, everyone needs an inspection. And it can be quite easy for you to be able to get into these markets and start providing services. And what, what's, what's essentially involved in this particular inspection is not too different from the renewable energy space, but essentially you're generally working with a smaller asset and you're generally working with a top-down view and a facade view to be able to understand what that roof or a facade looks like. So that's number three, the real estate and the infrastructure market. Now, one example over there that is slightly different but it's also become an increasingly important application for drones is the cell tower inspection market. So cell tower inspections are extremely important. We know for obvious reasons, I think everyone in the world is very much dependent on getting these cell towers working correctly. And there is there are parts of the world where you've got cell towers essentially as aging infrastructure. So if you could essentially fly the drone in some form of a structured flight plan, whether it's in orbit around the cell tower or up and down the cell tower, and collect high quality data, you're able to once again create 3D models of the cell tower, a digital twin as they call it, and also provide inspection reports to the cell tower so they're able to do measurements of the different instruments of the tower and they're able to also look at the condition of the tower and prepare maintenance plans. The cell tower inspections is another very popular use case that we're seeing at our missions, essentially scaling a lot across different countries. It's definitely one to essentially keep an eye on. Right, so Industry number four would be agriculture. So agriculture is one of the industries where drones had the very first applications and it's very much a mature space at this point. So what you have over here is essentially mapping. So you've got different fields and farms that require mapping and you can fly a drone on these particular sites, different farms and capture what the crop health looks like. Now, what's really important in these applications typically is having the right camera. So a multi-spectral camera can be really helpful in understanding what the crop health looks like and calculating things like yield, which are really important for these farms. So agriculture, much, much more of a mature space. And you can definitely uh, provide services, drone services into this industry. And last but not the least, we've got public services. So public services or emergency services is another industry where the drone use is increasing incredibly fast. So you've got everything from public safety where thermal drone cameras are being used to monitor spaces, uh, to look for missing people, for search and rescue applications and more. Generally speaking, these are services that, which are very much on the sort of first responder side where you're actually on the site capturing the data and you're basically providing that live footage of what the site looks like and who's on the site and what are the things that are going on. Right, so I think I've whizzed through that pretty quickly. That was five different industries that I went through with respect to how drones are being used. And I didn't even have the chance to mention bridge inspections, which is another big area of use for drones. So all in all, I think the, the future for the drone industry is really bright. We see lots of different applications being used um, and everything from mapping to modeling to inspections. And I think that Drones have gone from being this sort of tool of the future to being a live mainstream tool today. And I think it's just getting that word out there to people, whether you're an in-house drone team pilot or a drone service provider, letting people know that these things are actually now possible and having all the right tools and workflows in place to be able to capture, deliver high quality data, because that's what drones really enable in our industry. Right, hopefully this video was interesting. If I have missed out on any applications that you think are really important and are emerging when it comes to camera drones, 
feel free to leave them in the comments box. Um, please feel free to share this video with anyone that might find it useful. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video for Knowledge Hub.